Right, yo guys, what's going on? It is me, KLV, and in today's video, we're going to be doing a Outriders video. Now, I've been having a lot of fun on Outriders. Um, I've got to more or less the end game stage, you could say. And uh, I want to show you this really, really tanky build. Now, if you saw by the starting clips, uh, this was really tanky. Now, I normally play solo uh, for a lot of games, and if you're a solo player as well, this tank build is going to help you out a lot. Now, the weapons don't really matter it's mainly the mods that are good so you could just have an ar with the um ultimate storm whip and claymore they are very very good for damage uh, the build is a little bit different from the footage of the star but it's probably even more better than when you saw it from the start so with this we have got basically uh, ultimate storm whip well basically uh, shots bring down lightning on an enemy dealing 4294 damage and the cooldown is one second so does extra damage right there because you are going to be more tanky so you want to have a little bit more extra damage for especially in them ex expeditions uh, next we got a automatic shotgun uh, you could use either the uh, the slug or the narrow it is up to you and uh, yeah automatic shotguns are really, really good to have just because they can do a lot of damage really really quick because they have a quite fast uh, rpm um we've got on here we've got killing shots this grants us 15 percent uh, skill leech uh, boost for 20 uh, 20 seconds well it, it's nice it's nice to have a skill leech uh, next we've got the death chains the death chains mod is actually really really good because basically what this does is shots entangle an enemy with chains dealing 11,464 damage over three seconds and there's only ever two second cooldown so for example you could be shooting an enemy and then uh, you'd be reloading and you're still going to be doing damage to that enemy so time's not really wasted if you want to have this on an AR you can use this on an AR if you want to if you don't have the uh, storm whip mod uh, next is a pistol um i don't really use pistols that much but having the vulnerability is quite nice so what we're going to do is we're just going to go through the our skills uh, uh, skills and a class tree and then we'll go to the armor so i've gone with a firestorm build because this is quite of a tanky ish build so what we've gone here is we've gone with the just max health then we went with our basically reduced our ignite skills cooldown because that's what we're mainly going to be using then we went with obviously increase our max health. We've got uh, this what decreases our uh, skill cooldown. We went with this to increase our armor piercing against marked enemies. This just decreased weapon recoil. You don't have to use this one. If you want to go with something else, go with something else. I just went with this because I didn't really know what else to choose. Uh, we got this to increase our armor. When we have meltdown to uh, basically burn afflicted on enemies it deals 20% more damage. You're going to be using abilities while all the abilities have burn. So extra damage right there. Uh, uh magma golem this increases your max health then you got incinerate the but the, the moment burn ends on an enemy inflict ash status this is really really good for just basically stunning them and it helps you out a little bit right there uh, next we've got the master of resistance increase your resistance by 20 percent next we've got uh, magma golem again which increases your health by 10 percent We've got organs blazing this increases weapon damage after any skill activation by 20 percent for seven seconds you're going to be using your skills a lot it doesn't really matter um all three abilities are going to be used a lot so having uh basically extra 20 percent damage is nice uh, let them burn again burn afflicted on enemies last 20 percent longer was nice uh more health we got and then unquenchable that gives us a uh, skill leech then the anomalous anomalous uh, lava i think i said it right uh, activating ignite skills increase your armor by 45 percent for 10 seconds this is really really good because having extra armor is very nice especially if you're doing solo because if you're going solo then uh, you want to have armor uh, next we've got the uh, fuel for embers double skill leech went under 30 percent of max health so that's nice right there we then we've got a warm up that this basically reduces ignite skills cooldown by 15 percent guess that's nice we don't have this one because enemies afflicted by burn receive 15 percent more damage we don't we didn't go with this you can go with this if you want to just wants us to get the cooldown and then last but not least we've got the magma elemental that gives basically activating ignite skills increase your armor piercing by 45 percent and resistance piercing by 45 percent for 10 seconds this is really good for taking stuff out so the skills that we went with is volcanic round volcanic rounds this is really good because it has a nice amount of damage uh, if you know what it is basically what it does is to fill your current weapons magazine with bullets that will ignite the air around enemies and inflict burn onto them even if the bullet misses it, if a bullet hits it causes skill damage ignoring armor and piercing piercing the target damaging others behind them 
uh, the skill lasts long uh, lasts until you reload or switch weapon so really really good there right there i kind of butchered a couple of things up then but it's a really really good one to, to have uh, next we've got heat wave basically summon a fiery wave that deals 1967 damage and inflict burn onto all enemies in its path and then next we've got ash uh, create an anomaly blast to inflict ash onto all enemies within a large radius basically what this does is it kind of stuns them for a little bit and it is really really good to have if you see here if we just use it and it will just basically just stun on what is very very nice to have so next i want to go over the armor mods so uh, on here we have the uh, mitigation from death killing an enemy while aiming down sight grants 7573 points of armor for 10 seconds stacks up to three times that is a lot of armor you can get right there uh, next we've got bloodlust this uh, killing shots increase your firepower by 1025 stacks up to three times and deteriorates every 10 seconds so more firepower very very nice uh, for the body, we have the emergency stance. Attain golem a protective effect for four seconds whenever your health drops below 30%. So this is just nice for survivability, and it gives you the time to basically heal back up, what is really nice. Uh, next, we got the damage absorber increases your armor by 11,123 and resistance by 10%. So that's a nice amount of armor right there. Uh, we got the we got some blue. Uh, uh, waist waist cloth if you have um purples try and get this with some maybe some more armor i'm still working on this build but it's a really good build right now and i really wanted to show it off but this has the uh volcanic rounds um, mod what basically decreases the target's armor by 30 percent for 10 seconds now you can put something else on if you want to but i like to have this on uh, next we have got the uh, gloves uh, we've got the ash blast mod basically increases the skills range by 66 percent this is really nice to have because more range on it is really nice and then next we've got the uh, uh per perseverance uh, shield receive 1545 points of shield whenever your health drops below 30 percent so then this will kick in when your um emergency stance also kicks in so it's basically more harder for you to kill because both of them together then next we've got the uh, boots this basically when when you roll you get uh, 7168 armor for five seconds so just the seven seven thousand armor just for literally rolling what you're going to be doing majority of the time anyway huge benefit huge benefit literally just rolling and boom seven thousand armor right there so yeah that's basically the build that i run uh, right now if you want to see your more outriders build make sure you drop a like and subscribe to the channel be very much appreciated uh comment down below whereabouts you are in outriders i do like to know and uh also i stream monday to friday on twitch so go check check out there and uh yeah sometimes i stream outriders sometimes not so make sure you go check out also last but not least make sure you join my discord discord is in the description down below there's going to be outriders channel there's a warframe channel and just a normal general channel for basic people to talk about if you want to show off some builds there's an outriders channel just for you so uh yeah See you guys later. Peace out.